Mother Teresa lay in repose in an open casket in St. Thomas, Calcutta, for a week before her funeral. She received a state funeral from the Indian government in gratitude for her service to the poor of all religions in the country. Cardinal Secretary of State Angelo Sodano, the Pope's representative, delivered the homily at the service. Mother Teresa's death was mourned in the secular and religious communities. Prime Minister of Pakistan Nawaz Sharif called her, a rare and unique individual who lived long for higher purposes. Her lifelong devotion to the care of the poor, the sick, and the disadvantaged was one of the highest examples of service to our humanity. According to former UN Secretary General Javier Perez de Cuellar, she is the United Nations. She is peace in the world. From the Indian government, under the name of Mary Teresa Boyajiu, Mother Teresa was issued a diplomatic passport. She received the Padma Shri in 1962 and the Jawaharlal Nehru Award for International Understanding in 1969. She later received other Indian awards, including the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award, in 1980. Mother Teresa's official biography, by Naveen Chawla, was published in 1992. In Calcutta, she is worshipped as a deity by some Hindus. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of her birth, the government of India issued a special 5 rupees coin, the amount of money Mother Teresa had when she arrived in India, on 28 August 2010. President Pratibha Patil said, clad in a white sari with a blue border, she and the Sisters of Missionaries of Charity became a symbol of hope to many, namely, the aged, the destitute, the unemployed, the diseased, the terminally ill, and those abandoned by their families. Indian views of Mother Teresa are not uniformly favorable. Arup Chatterjee, a physician born and raised in Calcutta who was an activist in the city's slums for years around 1980 before moving to the UK, said that he never even saw any nuns in those slums. His research, involving more than 100 interviews with volunteers, nuns and others familiar with the missionaries of charity, was described in a 2003 book critical of Mother Teresa. Chatterjee criticized her for promoting a cult of suffering and a distorted, negative image of Calcutta, exaggerating work done by her mission and misusing funds and privileges at her disposal. According to him, some of the hygiene problems he had criticized, such as the reuse of needles, improved after Mother Teresa's death in 1997. Bikish Ranjan Bhattacharya, mayor of Calcutta from 2005 to 2010, said that, she had no significant impact on the poor of this city, glorified illness instead of treating it and misrepresented the city. No doubt there was poverty in Calcutta, but it was never a city of lepers and beggars, as Mother Teresa presented it. On the Hindu right, the Bharatiya Janata Party clashed with Mother Teresa over the Christian Dalits but praised her in death and sent a representative to her funeral. Vishwa Hindu Parishad, however, opposed the government decision to grant her a state funeral. Secretary Giriraj Kishore said that, her first duty was to the church and social service was incidental, accusing her of favoring Christians and conducting, secret baptisms, of the dying. In a front-page tribute, the Indian fortnightly frontline dismissed the charges as patently false, and said that they had made no impact on the public perception of her work, especially in Calcutta. Praising her selfless caring energy and bravery, the author of the tribute criticized Teresa's public campaign against abortion and her claim to be non-political. In February 2015 Mohan Bhagwat, leader of the Hindu right-wing organization Rashtriya Swayamsevak sang, said that Mother Teresa's objective was, to convert the person, who was being served, into a Christian. Former RSS spokesperson M. G. Vaidya supported Bhagwat's assessment, and the organization accused the media of, distorting facts about Bhagwat's remarks. Trinamool Congress MP Derek O'Brien, CPI leader Atul Anjan and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal protested Bhagwat's statement. In 1991 the country's first modern university, Senate of Srirampur College, University, awarded an honorary doctorate during registrarship of D.S. Satyaranjan. 